So in today's video, I'm going to teach you about two candlestick patterns that I have seen working for me. And I believe that at the end of this video, you will have information to apply in your trading. So you need to understand that I, I, I know majority of people don't know that all these candles are not the same. If you open your chart right now and you go either to daily time frame for hour, two hours, one hour, one month, all candles are not the same. So the basic information to understand about candlestick that I can help you even before I tell you the two candles, the basic information that I can tell you is that candles print differently according to, to, to time frames. So in, in case here I have in case here I have um, 30 minutes, in case here I have 30 minutes time frame. And on the other side, I have one hour time frame. What I mean is that in 30 minutes, maybe I will have a bearish candle, maybe for instance, in 30 minutes, I have a bearish candle. And then, so 30 minutes, it's like saying 12, 12, two, 12.30, I have a 30 minute candle. But what will be happening in the time frame of one hour, I will still have the same candle. 12, 12, 12 to 12.30. I have the, the first candle, but on one hour, if I check on one hour, I will still have the same candle. So the difference between these two candles is that this red candle has completed, it has formed, already formed. So this one has already formed. That is the number one difference. But this one has 30 minutes remaining. 30 minutes remaining for candle to form. And this is the difference, guys. If at all you want to understand candlesticks and different types of candlesticks, I think this is the basic, the basic information. So if you look, if you if you open your chart at 12, let's say 12 at noon, maybe it's in the morning, and you want to analyze any pair and you check at 12, immediately at 12, 30 minutes and one hour, they will have the same candle. They will have exactly the same. It's like a photocopy. But now, starting from 12, if we start now from 12.30, if we start from 12.30, I want you to understand carefully because this is where people go wrong. So from 12.30 to 1 p.m., that's where we will have the second candle. So this was the candle for the 30 minutes. It has already formed. And now we want to print another candle. So that the other candle will start from 12 12.30, 12.30 to 1 p.m. So if buyers come in, if buyers come in and they print a green candle, if buyers come in and they print a green candle, guys, what do you think will happen to one hour? What you need to understand is that the one hour candle will not print again because it takes for one hour for candle to complete. So if buyers came in and after 30 minutes, they have now finished, it means it takes two candles of 30 minutes to happen to one hour. But the question is, how will the one hour candle be looking like? Have you ever asked yourself? So the one hour candle will not be, will not remain like this. The question is, will it remain a green candle? Will it change to be green? Will it be red? How will it be looking like? So what will happen is that because the market has, the market has gone up. So in 30 minutes, what has happened? When the market reached uh, 12.30, and started to go up, the same thing will happen with the one hour. So the candle will start coming up and coming up. And you can notice where the market closed here, 
where the market closed is exactly, you see where this candle closed? This was the closing of the candle. So where the market closed is where the body of one hour will have closed. Because remember, and the reason why I'm doing this is because by the time you want to understand candlesticks and you don't know this information, it becomes hard. So at the end of the day, this is your open of the day. So they, they share an open. So both 30 minutes and one hour, they are sharing an open. So when 30 minutes it's opening, one hour it's still opening. So they shared an open. So what happened that after 30 minutes, the market closed. So we didn't even have a week, the market closed here. So this one is closing for 30 minutes, but on one hour time frame, we can't have a closing. Why? Because it takes one hour for the candle to close, and now it is remaining 30 minutes. So on the 30 minute time frame, the candle of 30 minutes will close, and a new candle will start. So if the candle closes here, an open starts below. So the open starts below. The open starts below. Once the open starts below, and the market now it's coming up, it's going up so that it can close. So all what is happening is that the market opened as it was going down. When the 30 minutes candle was closing, the one hour made a low, made a low, guys. And then the market did what? The market uh, closed at that area. So closing of one hour is exactly the same as closing of the second candle of 30 minutes. So if this is what you have, in your mind, it will be easier for you to trade. So this is the basic information of candlestick patterns. So first of all, you need to understand that different time frames give different candles. So these two candles, it is the same information with this candle. So what I came to realize is that whenever I have, uh, I'm looking at four hour and also I'm looking at daily, I will have different data because on the daily, I only have one candle, but on the four hour, I have six candles. So these are six kind of information. So basically this is the first thing that everyone wants to do. And I think I will do more emphasis. Let me now go directly to the, to the patterns. So I know majority of you guys, you know about a momentum candle. So this candle, we call it bullish momentum. People know about this bullish, momentum candle. This is a candle that is indicating buyers are in control. And I know majority of you know bearish momentum. So we have both bullish momentum and bearish momentum. Bearish momentum. So I have both bullish momentum and bearish momentum. So I have those two candles. So knowing this is not yet enough because understanding the market, we have different candles. So we have bullish momentum candles, we have rejection candles, and we have indecision candles. When we talk of in rejection candles, is candles that have weak. So you have a red candle, but it has a weak. And that's what we have uh, we have in the one hour candle. So you'll be you'll be looking at 30 minutes, you're seeing your candles are fine, but when you come to one hour, this candle has a week. If you don't understand that sellers were rejected, yes, market was selling very well, but the 30 minutes buyer came in and that indicated rejection. So for 30 minutes, when people see a red candle, they will notice, oh, sellers were there. Then if they see a bullish candle, they know buyers are coming. But still, this information can be given as one hour where there's a red candle with a week. So anytime you see a week below, it means sellers are rejected. Again, you can, you can have where you have a green candle, but now the week is above. Now, when this happens, buyers are getting rejected. So these are the, the basic information of understanding patterns. Now, when we understand patterns, we, we have to realize that there are so many candlesticks out there, but at least we need to master two. So the first one I want you to master is something called bullish angle and if at all you will this video will hit 10,000 views because I want to give information this is very very big information if this video hits 10,000 views I will do 
the other one. So this one I'm doing part one, I will do the part two of the video. So if you want to get the, the candle, I will be talking of this candle. You see this, this red candle, we call this a hammer. So I really love this candle because a hammer gives us a rejection candle. So this is what I want you to master. Anytime you have a hammer, because this, the green one, we don't call it a hammer. So I will not talk of the green one with the weak on top. So we have a hammer. And in this case, I want to talk of a hammer that is in red in color. I know a hammer can still be a green in color, but in this concentration of these patterns that I have seen working for me is the one that has red in color. So I want to show you how hammer comes by. So this is how hammer is created and I have showed you. When you have a hammer, it means sellers are being rejected, start looking for buy. So anytime you open your chart and you see this hammer, you are looking for buy. And anytime you want to look for buy, the only thing that you can look in the uh, anything that you're looking for buy is a bullish candle. So and this bullish candle, we call it a bullish angle because I don't want you just to, to look for any bullish candle. I want you to look for a bullish angle. So if you identify, so the strategy is so simple and the two patterns is the hammer plus the bullish angle. Then I show you the strategy. So hammer looks like that and it has red when we talk of bullish engulf i have to have a very big green candle that has engulfed a very big candle that has engulfed a red candle okay that has engulfed a red candle so i have a red candle here that has been engulfed by a green candle so when i'm speaking of a bullish engulf this is what i mean there is the small red candle that is being overshadowed. So I want you to master these two candles between bullish and gulf, bullish, bullish and gulf. And then I want us to master hammer. So if you work between hammer and bullish and gulf, you will make it in Forex because number one, you need to see hammer in your chart then you look for bullish angle. Hammer means sellers are rejected. Bullish angle emphasizes buyers have taken control. So what I want you to do is that, let me bring this hammer here. So the two patterns I have said is a hammer and try it, go and try it and, and you come back and comment and I have said, if this video gets 10,000 views, I will do part two. If you are watching this and it has not hit part uh, 10,000 views, it means uh, you are not doing your job. You are supposed to make this video go to 10,000 views so that I can do part two. So the first thing we need a hammer. So we are starting with the one. So the first candle you need to see, first candle to see is a hammer. And where are you seeing it? You go to look for it on the daily time frame. So we will look for it on the daily time frame. That is the first thing. So the first candle, it is a hammer and we are looking it at daily time frame. The second candle is a bullish engulf. The second candle. Second candle is a bullish engulf. Second candle, bullish engulf. And we are looking at it on four hour time frame. Imagine that's what you need to be able to use these two patterns. So number one, look for a hammer on the daily. Number two, look for bullish engulf on the, on the four hour, and then you can target 30 pips. Target 30 pips. You don't want to be over ambitious. So you will be targeting 30 pips because at the end of the day, let me tell you guys, number one, any good strategy needs a good entry, and then it needs a good target, and then it needs a good exit, okay? So I will show you how do you, how do you exit this. So let's try out this uh, patterns. So you will open your daily chart. Let's open our daily chart. This is our daily chart. You can see we have our first and a uh, hammer. So you will come and try to look for this hammer. This is how hammer looks like. This is what I'm saying. Once you identify a hammer, anytime, 
you identify a hammer on uh, a hammer on daily, you will now go to four hours. Follow what I'm telling you and you will make money. So once you identify a hammer, you can see one, this one is a hammer, a very big rejection. The week is too big. Then you go to four hour. So on four hour, we are looking for a bullish end gulf. And you can see already a hammer is as a result of a bullish end gulf on what time frame. We can see we have this bullish end gulf already, but we want a second bullish end gulf because that is the way the strategy is. So yes, we have this bullish end gulf. You can see there's a red candle that has been covered by a green, but we want the next bullish end gulf. So what basically this market has done, let me show you what has happened. Basically, the market broke this support. We can see there's a breaking of the support. So the market broke this support. So support BOS. The market broke support. And we are wondering, why is it coming up? According to daily, there's rejection. And if at all I will see another bullish and gulf, I'll just, uh, I will just target 30 pips. So you stay on your four hour time frame. Don't be in a rush to enter this market. And you can see the market has started to like kind of retrace. So you'll be looking for a bullish end gulf and we have seen it guys. Can you see this bullish end gulf? That's what you are looking for. So these are two candle strategies. So you see a bullish end gulf and this is the bullish end gulf you have been looking for. How many pips have I told you to target? 30 pips, I've told you to target 30 pips. So 30 pips is around there. So that is 30 pips, we are targeting 30 pips because we don't want, I don't want you guys to over target this strategy. Now, for the stop loss, you will target, the market can still come here. You see when you put your stop loss and that's why I tell people I don't put stop loss because how can you put just stop loss? The market will come and hit this area very easily. They will, they know you will be hit on that area. So stop loss, don't put it around this area because they will come for it. So worst case scenario, you can put your stop loss there, but always use ATR. There are people who will say, oh, those are so many pips. Why, how can you put 96 pips? They will, if you want to put 40 pips, they will still come back at that area because they are seeing your stop loss. So for stop loss, use it here. I cannot advise people on stop loss. That one, I cannot advise you on that. So I will always advise you for the target and the exit, okay? So uh, let's go in on our entry. And I have told you this is a strategy to target 30 pips. And let's see, you can see the first thing they are doing, they are coming for your stop loss. Many people put stop loss around that area. And at the end of the day, they take profit. So if you are lucky enough and you had put your stop loss around that area, the, the stop loss was not hit. So the market only went 26 pips down. It never hit your take profit. That is the first example. Let us try to do another example using the pin bar, here I have a, an Arnold pin bar hammer. Here I have another example. So I have seen, I have noted a hammer on my daily and you can see even if I look on my left, if I look on my left, I have a support area there. There is a support area. That support area is telling me it's a rejection zone. So there are so many things that are making this strategy very successful. So once you have this, uh, how once you have this, uh, P hammer. What you do now? We are going to we are going to four hour time frame. What have we said? If we go to four hour time frame, all we want to look is for we want to look. So our exit. If anything happens, imagine you have entered this buy and the sellers continue selling. You exit that trade because that is our lowest uh, support. You don't want sellers to catch this lowest support. So exit to know things are not good on you. If they break this exit, you're, you're just, you're done. You just cancel that trade. So we will be looking for a bullish end gulf. And immediately, guys, we have that green, big green candle. And like I have said, you for exit, target is, target is 30 pips. We are targeting how many pips? 30 pips. And then for the stop loss, I have said, I cannot tell you to 
put your stop loss, but I can tell you when to know things are bad. If the market comes and break that lowest support that you had, just know things are bad and you, you are no longer being supported to buy, just close the trade. But for stop loss, I'm not in a position to help you with the stop loss. So you'll come here again, long position, and we are targeting how many pips? We are targeting 30 pips. So the market started to come down. Remember, guys, I have told you, for stop loss, you just decide what you will do because I am not in a position to, to guide you. So you can see the market really ranged there. So as it is ranging, it is going towards the 30 pips goal. Can you see? So if you backtest this, you will have confidence. If you can notice, the bullish angle that the market is breaking with, the market is not coming down below. So that is what I have noticed in this strategy. But you can still do your own research and come back. And I have told you guys, if you make this video have 10,000 views, I, I can even do more if I know many people are watching. So what you can do, just share this video. Make sure you, you leave a comment, share in groups, in Telegram. Imagine if a thousand people Everyone who has watched, shared in a Forex group, a Telegram, a WhatsApp group, any group that you know that people can get information, okay? So the last example that I will do, this is the last example, and I'm really enjoying this strategy, by the way, and I will be doing a live trading with it so that I can show you that even trading with candlesticks can still work. So here we have a hammer again. So this is our hammer. You can see how visible it is. So once you see a hammer, even if I squeeze the chart, I will know that this hammer is on a key zone. You can see that is an area of rejection. You see, sometimes you may see a hammer, but there is no kind of a, a key zone. So this hammer, it's not just a hammer, but it's a hammer that is on a key zone. So what I do, once I see that hammer, I will go directly to four hours. So what I'm looking on for, I'm looking for a bullish engulf. Note, for exit purposes, for me to exit this trade and to see, oh, this trade did not work for me, the market again have to break there. So I will be waiting for now a bullish engulf. So don't say, oh, here we have, this is, in fact, it's not a bullish engulf. This is a, a morning star, a red small indecision candle and a momentum candle creates this candle, these three candles create a morning star. So that's not even a bullish engulf. So I'll be waiting for a bullish engulf. And you can see immediately, immediately, guys, it's like they are waiting. Immediately, I get that bullish engulf. And once I get the bullish engulf, I, like I have said, you will just know how to target your stop loss. For me, I don't use stop loss because I have exit strategy. So bring your long position like that long position and your stop loss. For me, I will put there because that's where I will be told to exit. So let's see what happens with this trade. Did it hit our 30 pips goal? And you can see this one, it really ranged. This one is not the, the trade that it is easy being traded. And you can see, I have done three examples and all of them have hit the take profit. The question is, when you, you do your back testing, how will, how will be the win rate of this strategy? Once you backtest and you, you find the win rate, I want you to come back on this video and be able to text back because for me, I have really loved these two candles. Bullish engulfs means a lot. Hammer means a lot to me and to, um, to, 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 me and to, to be able to understand. So these are the most two candles that I have said. This is backtest. This is recapping. A hammer, you first need, the first candle is a hammer on a daily time frame. The second candle is a bullish angle, and then you target 30 pips. Okay, guys. So if you're interested, um, if that lesson was important to you, maybe you have seen how I'm teaching you would want more advanced lessons or you would want a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I offer four kinds of mentorship. Number one, I give free content. So there is no way you will ever say, Esther Moffrey, you are just charging. Why are you just charging? And these people who keep complaining for me to charge, yet you are seeing the free videos. Why are you watching my free videos then? So the first way of mentorship is free. 
and I do it on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Telegram. I do it everywhere for free. The second kind of mentorship that I do is the mentorship that I do physically. Either you come to a physical class in Kenya. So if you're an international student and you would want that physical class, you just come to Kenya for the physical class. And then the third one, I do uh, recorded classes. For the physical class and the recorded classes are the same. They are the same. It's a thousand dollars. So if you want to come to Kenya, you just pay a thousand dollars. If it's a physical, you'll just pay a thousand dollars. The other kind of mentorship that I do is for my international students who they don't want to buy recorded classes, but they want a Zoom one on one mentorship. For the Zoom one on one mentorship, I charge fifteen hundred dollars because it goes for a whole month two classes every week, one month. So for the intake of October is open. So if you're watching me and you're international and you want to subscribe to October, you can book your spot so that I may know you're interested. The other one is you want to buy one strategy. It's $100. So at the end of the day, this is my number. The reason why I'm saying what I what I offer is because there are so many scammers out there. Oh, they'll tell you I sell bitcoins. They'll tell you I trade on you. I, I trade for you. They will tell you I'm selling. I don't know what. Don't be scammed. Use my number. It is here. If you're interested to do anything, uh, if you're interested to do anything with me, use this number. Anyway, guys, I hope you will enjoy the strategy and the two patterns right now once you see a hammer don't ignore it i have not tested it on other time frames only on daily and forward so i may not know the winning rate in a lower time frame all the best guys see you in the next one bye bye love you